I'm ecstatic. I'm freaking pumped right now. We're, we worked hard to get here. We have all the support from all the fans. They're all behind me. Oh, it's, it's amazing. The, seat, the bleachers were packed. It's great. Achieving history wasn't as easy for Lane Davis and the Unity Mustangs as Tuesday's super sectional final score would indicate. There was in fact plenty of give and take early in this ball game, with Waterloo Jabot jumping out to an early 10-4 lead. But it was in that first timeout that Keith Carruthers would re-emphasize tonight's mantra. High percentage shots for us, low percentage attempts for them. And that meant quickly re-establishing Lane Davis out of the break and fighting back to a 12-all tie after the first eight minutes. And once it started off low, we knew it was a lot easier to make shots than shooting from far out. And we just attacked the basket the whole game. And it's always important to establish yourself and show that you're aggressive and not be pacifist about scoring the basketball. You always want to attack, go to the rim, and make them jump shoot. So I think that's what we did. But in what would turn out to be the game's most meaningful subplot, as Unity gained its first lead of the game at 16-12, Jabot, and in particular its much-vaunted perimeter game, suddenly came to look very clunky and uncomfortable with the difficult sight lines in the bowl. Granted, the Cardinals fought back to tie the score with a couple of well-placed drives to the basket. But the fading confidence in Jabot's futile three-point shooting was palpable and a pair of dagger threes from the Mustangs in opposition pushed Unity to a 28-22 lead at the half. At that point, we got a sense of, of our scoring role. We know what we're capable of, but we ha they've been shutting us down for the most part. But those two threes back-to-back -back really gave us a big push in the right direction for scoring. That was something special. After I hit that three-pointer, it was just, I was so ecstatic. Plus, we knew coming into the game that they were going to be good shooters, so we had to get out and close out hard. And they just missed shots. I think us playing defense really, uh, really took away their offense and gave us shooting opportunities. Straight out of the halftime locker room, Unity, and in particular Alex Wickham, would hit the ball with two fingers and punches right out of the gate, swelling the lead to double digits quickly. And any time from that point forward, the reeling Cardinals seemed to recover, an Adam Donnelly or a Dylan Schaefer would find their comeback hopes and jab them away. To Unity's credit, this title fight was literally over 19 minutes into the clock. I mean, we just knew at the third quarter we had to come out on fire just like we did against Kiwani. So, and all our guys, we just came out, we knew what we had to do. And hats off to the rest of them, they did an amazing job, and I'm really proud of my boys. And just that simply, Unity had punched its long-awaited ticket to Peoria. And Western Illinois' most excitable crowd roared its approval in even louder decibels than anyone thought previously possible. I can't wait to see. I mean, I know that we have uh, the full support of our community, school, and surrounding areas. So, I mean, I'm really excited to see what, what happens. I've never been happier. I've played with these boys since I was in third grade. We've been together the whole time, and it's showing this year. And we're going to get to Peoria, and we're going to win that state tournament. It's just awesome.